stellacites and stalagmites. In the case of the limestone region, one will be able to see cylindrical structures of ice. Some of them will be hanging from the roofs, while some will be projecting upward from the floor of the caves. These are called stellacites and stalagmites respectively. To learn about them, let us first conduct an experiment. Materials required are water, two similar glasses, two small and heavy nails, Epsom salt, a cardboard box whose height is lower than that of the tumblers, cotton string, beaker. Procedure. Remove the lid of the cardboard box. Place one glass tumbler each on both sides of the box. Be sure that the box is below the level of the glasses. Now, let us prepare a saturated solution of Epsom salts in a beaker. To make a saturated solution mix as much of these salts in water as could get dissolved in it. Fill both the glasses with this saturated solution. Take four pieces of a thick string of cotton and putting them together. Tie one nail each with the two ends of the threads. Keep the strings with the nails over the box. The nails should dangle on either side of the box. The length of the string should be such that when passed over the box, the nails should lie on the bottoms of the two glasses. After a while, you would see that the solution slowly rises up through the strings. It travels by the strings on both the sides. In this process, the droplets get collected throughout the string. This is how the formation of stellicide starts. When enough solution gets collected, it starts dripping on the floor of the box. The process continues. The drops thus collected on the box start mounting upwards. This exactly is the process of the formation of the stalagmites. The process of rising up and dripping down of the drops of the solution continues unchecked. With the passage of time, the water part of the solution evaporates, leaving behind the solid salt. Similarly, stalacites and stalagmites are formed in nature. Why it happens? Limestone is chemically calcium carbonate. In the limestone caves, the stalacites and stalagmites look like the pointed large icicles but in reality, they are the result of the continuous deposition of the calcium carbonate, mixed water, which continues to fall from the cave ceiling to the floor and vice versa. After evaporation of water, it eventually leaves behind only calcium salt in the form of stalacites and stalagmites.